of all kings. There is no words to describe you enough. There is no way to worship you enough. Jesus, King of glory, Elohim, creator of everything, this morning we bow down before you. My song is not enough, Lord, to explain how mighty you are. My worship would not be enough to describe who you are. So I'll sing to you a new song, All over this place, I want you to be in a moment of worship. Your own intimate worship, I will sing you a new song, Jesus. Oh, I, oh. song Jesus hallelujah hallelujah we come to worship you we lift your name on Worship will lift you before God. Oh, I. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! We come. We worship you, Lord. We lift your name. Let the whole universe hear us. Hey, your name.
spirit. Hey. God, we lift your name. Hey, indescribable Jesus, indescribable. Hey, we worship you, Jesus. We bless your name. Oh, I have more than a song today. I brought my soul. I am your sacrifice. Oh, I have more than a song hey, today. Hey, I brought my song. Hey, hey, I am your worship. Oh, I have more. Yeah. 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 
Mali the sacrifice of Jehovah with the heart of thanksgiving. May you accept our worship. There is power in the midst of worship. This morning, in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says that God was in the midst of our worship. That means that worship is one of the weapons that is able to pull God to manifest himself in an extraordinary way. Hallelujah. So any child of God that knows how to worship God is always drawing God's presence to himself or herself. Hallelujah. And whenever God is always with you and amongst you, we there is always morning. victory. You, so Lord. can you lift your hands and Thank say, you, We Jesus. see yes, yes, the living sacrifice yeah. all over the church. Yeah. I want to give you more worship. Yeah. Lord, I say.
Shabi Baba. Oh, Baba. You are worthy to be praised. Jesus, we bless you. I receive it, Lord Jesus. for connecting us to your presence. Thank you that your plans for us are yea and amen. And you will never leave us nor forsake us. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, church. Amen. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy have not heard what the Lord is about to do in your life. Hallelujah. If you believe it, can you shout an amen? amen. Hey, 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 hey. Hallelujah. Jesus. You want to give the Lord about three minutes of a powerful praise that will jump straight. Hallelujah. I hand over to the praise team. Come on.
and with energy. We are praising our God. We are praising our maker. We are saying our God is awesome. <laughs> we are saying our God is stronger. We are declaring it and making a noise and a shout to the enemy today. That we are declaring the victory and the power of God this morning. Hallelujah. So if you are singing our God is stronger, sing with power, sing with energy. Faith, We're going to do this one more faith. time. One more time. Amen. Are you ready? If our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against us? And if our God is for us, and if our God is for us, and if our God is for us, then what can stand against us? Push him by 
the darkness. Hey, darkness in the name of Jesus. Enemy defeated, and we will shout it out. God is, God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom. Darkness, oh, in the name of Jesus. Shaken in the name of Jesus, enemy defeated, and we will shout it out. I will live, I will live, I will not die. I will share power of Christ alive in me, and I am free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah! God is fighting for us. Hallelujah. How many of you believe God is fighting for you? He is pushing down away every darkness. Hallelujah. He is lightening up the kingdom that cannot be shaken. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you sit down as a royal, victorious child of God in the name of Jesus? God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness. Lighting up the kingdom that cannot be shaken in the name of Jesus, and it is defeated, and we will shout it out, shout it out. God is fighting for us, just like the the deaconess said. He said what? She said what? That the Lord is fighting our battles for us. Hallelujah. The Lord, this year 2024, the Lord is fighting our battles for us. Hallelujah. And he will continue to fight it for us until victory is ours in the name of Jesus. Turn to somebody and say, are you ready to see the manifestation of God in your life? Come on, tell somebody that are you ready to see the manifestation of God in your life. Hallelujah. I am so excited this morning, irrespective of everything and anything, I have come to know that God is a mighty God. I, I remember when I was in high school, I used to sing this song with my colleagues. You might as well get deep behind me, Satan. You cannot prevail, cause my Jesus never fails. We used to say to each other, Jesus, he never fails. Jesus, he never fails. You might as well get deep behind me, Satan. You cannot prevail, cause my Jesus, he never fails. Oh, you might as well get deep behind me, Satan. You cannot prevail, cause my Jesus, he never fails. He's a faithful God that cannot fail. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome to Royal House Chapel, where the King of Kings has always been God. Hallelujah. If you are watching us on Facebook, on YouTube, know that you are connected to the right place, that you hear the words of God. Hallelujah. The words of God that will come to you not only to transform you, but to catapult you. Hallelujah. The word of God that will cause you to sit up and to be connected to Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. The word of God that will take you out of darkness and root you and plant you in light forevermore. Hallelujah. The word of God that will give you victory. The Bible says that he is the word. Yeshua HaMashiach. He has always been the word. In the beginning, he was the word. And now he is the word and forever he will be the word. Hallelujah. And in Royal House, we have a mission and a vision. Our mission is touching our generation with the power of God. Hallelujah. 
It is not just about the miracles that you see, but the miracle is your life that will be transformed and be ready for his coming. Hallelujah. And then we do this in three folds. Bringing people into God's presence through prayer, praise, and worship. And the second one is we, we are able to, by his grace, preach messages of hope that, that are relevant to the needs of mankind. And the last, we strive to bring comfort and love and peace and sharing and caring of fellowship among us as brethren and anybody that we come into contact with. Amen. So if you are watching us and you are seated in the house, I hope to see you next Sunday. Hallelujah. And we also have our prayer meetings every Tuesday by the women of the church. We pray whether we are two, three, ten, five. We still stand in the gap for every woman, for families, and then for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. So if you want your life to receive impartation, come and join the prayer. Hallelujah. The prayer fellowship with the women. And I, I, there are few women who have been constant, and I pray that God will continue to pour into your life oil. Say oil oil so that the time that challenges come the lord will stir the oil up in you and that oil will put fire in your mouth hallelujah that oil will cause the word of god to be transformed in your hands hallelujah and as you speak the words and as you declare may everything that opposes you be destroyed in the name of jesus you see the oils that those who come for prayer time are receiving they cannot share hallelujah because it is a personal thing Hallelujah. So if you're a woman here and you have not been coming and you are giving excuses, I believe that when it is an, a, a movie, you will sit up and watch. But when it's prayer time, you will sleep. I pray that God help us all. May it change from today onwards. Amen. And every Friday as a church, we also meet, hallelujah, to pray or to have our Bible study. Amen. And nowadays, some are missing some of the leaders. And I'm missing some of the loved ones. I pray that this coming Friday, everyone will make themselves available for us to meet and fellowship. Sundays are not enough. Hallelujah. If it's not enough for you to eat once a day or once a week, then know that Sundays are not enough. Sometimes we deceive ourselves that, oh, we also have our, oh, Pastor Sarah, you don't know. I also pray by myself. I also, but we know we are lying. Most of us. We know that had it not been for the prayer time at church and online, we would hardly pray. Had it not been for the Bible study and what we learn at church, we hardly open our Bibles. So all of these things, God knows that sometimes you may be going through some of these life challenges. That is why he has instituted the time for fellowship. So that even if per something you were not able to study your word or you were not able to pray effectively, at least this instituted times will help you to make up. Hallelujah. So please make it a point to join. Amen. And there are some other announcements that I will leave for the Papa of this church. Reverend Anthony Asian to come and give to the church when he comes from his assignment. Hallelujah. So next Sunday, be ready to receive some announcements from the Father of this house. Amen. And we pray that wherever he is, the Lord will bless him. The Lord will strengthen him. The Lord will favor him. Amen. Amen. So let's zoom straight to the word of God that the Lord has for us. Amen. Amen. Can you please stand by when I shoot my hands, you play the song for me. Amen. Just as I was meditating upon the word of God, or waiting for the Lord to give me his word. I've been so busy at work that I couldn't have time to really sit down to say that I'm doing a lot of Bible research to be able to, you know, dive into some. You know, you know how sometimes you want to preach, you want to get all the scriptures, you want to line up the points and all of that. So I have not been able to do that. I was, you know, I communicate to God. I have my little quiet times and all of that. So it was yesterday night. I said, God, I don't know what I'm going to preach. No, yesterday, the whole day, I said, God, I don't know what I'm going to preach or what you are going to let me preach. So I was trying to come up as usual with a topic. 
as late as yesterday night, still, I was, every time I raise a topic, the Lord will be silent on it. Every time I raise a topic, the Lord will be silent on it. And then finally, he said, I am that I am. And I said, what do you mean by I am that I am? He said, I want you to give my people this message that I am that I am. Hallelujah. I want you to listen to this song, listen to the lyrics, and then we'll shoot straight to the word of God. Amen. Jesus. We used to listen to this in Hickory, remember? I can't hear. And I am, I am the good news. Hey, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am the righteous one, I am the lamp. I am the ram in the bush for Abraham. I am the ultimate sacrifice for sin. I am, hey, the beginning and the end. I am, I am, I am, hey, I am, I am. Come on. There is a spring. I am the high priest. And I am the Christ. And I am the light. I am. I am. Oh, I am. The Lord says I am. the bread and I am the wine I am your future so leave your past behind come on I am your jubilee I am oh oh I am oh the wine. Yes, Lord. So leave the past behind in the midst of two or three. Hey, I am your jubilee. Hey, Lord says I am. He's the one who is I am. He alone is I am. Oh, Kalele Mosaya, I am hope, I am peace, I am joy. Hey, your comfort and relief from your stress. I am, I am, I am, I am. I am, oh, this very hour. Your freedom, I am. Oh, I am. Oh, I am. I am. I am rest. Hey, I relief from your stress. I am strength. I am love. I am power. I'm your freedom. This very hour. Ha! Come on! Come on! Hey! I am! I am 
am faith. I am love. I am power. I am your freedom. This very hour, I am. Oh, somebody say, I am. Oh, I am that I am. Oh, I am, I am. Hallelujah. And the Lord gave me this song. He said, just listen to this song and let the people of God know today that I am. Hallelujah. I am that I am, says the Lord. Hallelujah. It's taken from the book of Exodus chapter 3, verse 7 to 8. Can you project the word of God for me? The book of Exodus chapter 3, verse 7 to 8. When God called unto Abraham to come to the mountain and was instructing or instructed Ab uh, sorry, uh, Moses to come to the mountain and instructed Mo uh, Moses to go and deliver the people of Israel from Egypt. He said, he gave so many excuses why he, wa he didn't want to go or why he shouldn't go. Hallelujah. Because he was afraid. At that time, Pharaoh was the ultimate power in the whole world. Hallelujah. The Bible said he has so much authority. He has so much influence. He had conquered so many lands. Uh, and at that time in Egypt, he was even considered a god. He was considered a god. He saw himself a god. He made himself a god. The people worship him as a god. And he thought that besides him, there was nobody. Because he was ruling with spirits and gods. So, Moses, knowing the kind of Pharaoh at that time, was hesitant. He wasn't ready to go and face, he thought there would be embarrassment, he thought he was, he was going to be defeated, he was going to be mocked, and apart from that too, he had committed some sin. That he thought that if he goes, she, he was going to be in trouble. Hallelujah. So he was giving excuses. And he said, okay, okay, God, hold on. If I go, the people of Israel that I am supposed to go and bring out, the people that I am supposed to go and tell that the Lord says, your deliverance has come, are they going to believe me? Because listen, look at this. They had been in bondage for 400 years. Can you imagine? 400 years. 400 years, not 10 years, not 20 years, not 50 years, not 100 years, 400 years. So the Bible said what? They had gotten used to their pain. They had gotten used to their circumstance. It has become a normal thing for them. So they don't know what it means to be free. And they thought that God had forgotten about them. There are many of us here that we think that God has forgotten about us. Because there were some promises that were made to us. Because there were some, some things that we heard the Spirit of God speak to us. There were some declarations made in our lives. We, we believed the word of God at a point in time and we knew that God was coming to, you know, do what he said. But then, weeks passed. Months passed. Years passed. Decades passed. And still, there was no show. We became a mockery. We became slaves of burden. And because of that, some of us seated here, when we even go to church or somebody tells us God is good, we find it difficult to receive it. Because of the heaviness of what we are going through, because of the delays, because of the constant disappointment we have felt, So when we hear songs of motivation, it is very, we, sing, we just sing the songs, but we don't believe the lyrics of the songs. We cannot even claim it for ourselves. When we go to church or when we hear men of God, true men of God preaching the gospel and declaring certain things and we know that God is speaking to us, we are not able to receive because all we think about, we've heard it several times. He has said it several times. He said in 2020, uh, 2016 that he would do it. He didn't do it. 2020, he didn't do it. 
2022, he didn't do it. And 2024, he's still saying the same thing. So we find it difficult to embrace his word for us. He said, most of us, our faith are being shaken because of that. We ask ourselves, have we not prayed enough? Have we not fasted enough? Have we not given enough? Have we not sacrificed enough? Why, God, why are you not answering this particular prayer of mine? Why am I still going around in circles? Why am I still being delayed? Why am I still experiencing death and shame? Why? So I ask the Lord, why this word? Why this word I am that I am? He said, I told, I knew all that the people of Israel are going to tell Moses if Moses goes to tell them that. The God of Abraham and Isaac says, I should come and deliver you from Egypt. They will throw so many questions at you, but there is one thing that when they hear, they will know that it is I who have sent you. Because there is a particular name that when that name is evoked, it means God is ready. There is a particular name. When that name is sounded, it means God is ready to show forth. Hallelujah. I'm, I, is somebody hearing me? There is a particular name. A particular name that when God mentions, it means I am now seated on my throne to begin to declare my power. There is a particular name. There are other names we mention. Elohim. Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Adonai, they are all God's names. But this name, when it is sounded, there is something behind it. Hallelujah. Is somebody hearing me? So for God to have told me to come and share this message, it means God is about to do something. Say, God is about to do something. Say, God is about to do something in my life. God is about to do something with my situation. Hallelujah. In our account language, there is, a, there is a way we say that name. Hallelujah. And I'll mention it. He says, when the name is evoked, I am that I am. God is saying that he is trying to show forth how mighty he is. How unstoppable he is. He said, I am that I am means I will be who I say I will be. Nothing can change it. It is, it, is a, it is an indignation of the fact that God is ready to show his mightiness. Hallelujah. It is an, an indication to show that God is ready to break all grounds, to break every way, to move every mountain, to make sure that you have your deliverance and your freedom. I am that I am. He says, don't bring any limitations to me because I am that I am. Don't bring any failure to me because I am that I am. That system that has been opposing you, don't come and repeat it to me. Because I am bigger than that situation. I am powerful than that power. I am able than anything. I am that I am. Who is it? Who can stand against God? When he says yes, nobody can say no. And when he says no, nobody can say yes. So that is when I understood that God is about to do something with everybody that hears my voice today. He says, when I invoke that name, he invokes it whenever he is angry. Jealous anger and love. Whenever he says enough is enough, then I invoke that name. Your situation, the Lord says, enough is enough. Your circumstance, the Lord says, enough is enough. Your predicament, the Lord says, enough is enough. And nothing, and nobody, and no system 
can hinder me from what I am about to do. Like in our account, we say, oh, or they know who? Or they know who? Or they know who? Nyame, or they know who? God, or they know who? Nobody can come close to him. He does what pleases him. And nothing can change it. So my daughter, my son, I am here to encourage you that this morning the Lord says that begin to hear his name, I am that I am. That promise he has given to you, God says, I am that I am. That situation that God says he's going to change, he says, I am that I am. That means nothing can change it and nothing will. Can I hear an amen? If you look closely in the book of Exodus, when Moses heard their name, he said, when you go and he mentioned that name, my people will believe. Hallelujah. What scriptures is I reposting on this? Is that the scriptures that I gave to you? Hold on. I'm sure I wrote the wrong scripture. Johanna, find the scripture for me again, please. The one that says, I am that I am. Hallelujah. I think when I was writing it. He says, when you go to Egypt and you tell my people that I am that I am has sent me, all their doubts will fade. All their questioning will fade because they know that when that name is evoked, it is connected to a promise. Say a promise. Say a promise. Because before they came to Egypt, the Lord promised Abraham that he was going to bless his descendants and make them great and take them to a promised land. And he said what? I, the Lord, I will do it. And my name is I am. So when Moses went and then made mention of the name again, they knew that this is connected to the promise that was made a long time ago. So if God is saying his name again, then it means God is about to move. Hallelujah. So this morning, I am here to tell you that God is about to move. He is about to move on your behalf. Concerning your marriage, he is about to move. Concerning your finances, he is about to move. Concerning your freedom, he is about to move. The Lord is about to move. So when Moses went, thank you, and God said to Moses, I am who I am, he said, that you shall say to the children of Israel, I am has sent you. I am has sent you. The one who made everything, the one who can do everything, the one that nobody can challenge has sent you. So it doesn't matter who you are under. It doesn't matter the circumstance you find yourself in. If I am says I am ready to deliver you and bring you out, then be assured that your time is up. Hallelujah. Say my time is now. Say 2024. My time is now. 2024. My time is now. Sometimes we project to God. Don't oh, a year by this time. But this time the Lord has canceled a year by this time. This time the Lord says now is the hour. Hallelujah. <laughs> Not a year by this time. Hello. Is somebody who has faith believing what I'm saying? I said not a year by this time. He says, now, this is the hour. You will begin to experience the change and the move. You will begin to experience the shiftings and the making. The law will begin to shift, will begin to transform, will begin to uproot and replace. Hallelujah. Until finally, he takes you to the promised land. Amen. So the Bible said, when Moses went and declared that name, Initially, they were arguing with him. But the moment he made that declaration, the prophets among them, 
those who were still connected to prayer and worship, those who were still crying to God and their souls were connected, they began to believe that this is indeed the voice of God. And they convinced the others that let's follow Moses because God has spoken. Hallelujah. And the Lord was telling me, he said, Pharaoh was the order of the day. What is the Pharaoh in your life? What is the Pharaoh in, what is the fear that has kept you and suppressed you? What is the Pharaoh of stress? The Pharaoh of confusion? The Pharaoh of the system? Hallelujah. The Lord is going to cause things to begin to give way. Oh, God bless you. I said the Lord is going to cause things to begin to give way. They will give way for you to come out. Hallelujah. They will give you for you to rise. Hallelujah. They will give way for you to excel. Hallelujah. Look, God does things mysteriously. There were times that I used to get confused about things. And I'll be in the store. And then somebody will just walk in the store. And the Lord will use that person to give me a powerful word. That answers the circumstance in which I have found myself. Hallelujah. And when God says, I am putting things together for your good, trust him. Because sometimes your plans are not exactly what he is going to use. Are you hearing me? It's not your plans. How I'm going to fix this, how I'm going to tell you. He will bring something foreign somewhere. And he will keep on blowing your mind. Are you hearing me? He would use the foolishness of this world to confound the wise. Are you hearing me? I said the Lord is about to shift certain focuses. To certain things that you least thought about. And those are the ones that is going to bring your liberation. Things that you least expected. Oh, I said the Lord will order your foot this year in the name of Jesus. The Lord will order your feet in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bring you your helpers in the name of Jesus. People you do not know, the Holy Ghost will cause them to come and meet you. They will speak to you. They will connect with you. And they will help you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will cause people to help you. The Lord will cause people to bless you. We are wondering how we will build this church. How we will move from this place to a, a bigger place and a nicer place. Because we are waiting for the harvest. When the harvest comes, this place will not be enough. But the Lord will cause a blessing to come out of somewhere. And that blessing will just write a check. <laughs> and that blessing will take us to a place uh, and say, tell us that the Lord has placed it upon my heart uh, to build you uh, a temple of worship. So get an architect. Uh, show me how you want it to be done. Uh, and tell me the amount and I will release it. The Lord will do the same for you. I know what I'm saying because I know some surprises that I am hearing and seeing. And that is how I know that God, all things are working out for my good. And it will work out for your good. Today it may look empty. Today it may look scattered. Today it may look laughable. They will mock at you because they have gone ahead of you. <laughs> they will not help you. They will not encourage you to rise. But rather they are mocking at you. They are laughing at you. They are saying, look at us and look at her. Look at us and look at him. But they don't know that all things are working for your good. It's intentional. Hey, Jesus, never failing God. All things are working for our good. Hey, it's intentional. Hey, never failing. Never failing is intentional. Oh, it's intentional. 
Hey, it's intentional. Oh, never failing. I don't have to worry that he's working for me. Hey, he's working for me. I believe he's working for me. I don't have to worry, say. I don't have to worry, cause he's working for me. He's working, he's working for me. I believe he's working for me. I don't have to worry. Sometimes when God is doing things, he tells you to be quiet. Sometimes you don't have to open your mouth to share what God is telling you. Child of God, I want to tell you something. Sometimes he may not even tell you to discuss with your husband. He may not even tell you to discuss with your wife. He may not even encourage you to discuss with your child. You know why? The ones he permits, he knows that when you say it, it's okay. But the ones he doesn't permit, it means that whoever you are going to speak to is not ready to believe what you are going to tell. And people who don't believe what you say, they can be the people that the enemy can use to cause you to also doubt. Are you hearing me? If you don't understand, it's in the Bible. Keep quiet. Don't talk. Guard your tongue. Because sometimes the person you are talking to is surrounded by some forces. The moment you unleash the word, the forces around the person just take hold of it and use it against you. So God will tell you, just be quiet. Be still and know that I am God. You don't need approval for men. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. There are so many battles that we have lost because we were so much in a hurry and excited to tell people that we were not supposed to tell. We have lost certain battles because we wanted affirmation from people. God says he will do this. Are you sure God will do it for me? We wanted, we wanted them to affirm it. But you don't need anybody to affirm it when God speaks. You don't need man's approval. There are certain times that we tell people because we think that people will be happy for us. And then they will support us. And then they will motivate us and they will help us. But you tell them, you expect, expect them to cheer you on. But when you tell them, <laughs> they will dampen your spirit. So the Lord will tell you, don't tell anybody, keep it to yourself. And pray and hold on and trust that I am that I am. I am fighting your battles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be tired though. Because this word that you are hearing, it is a word that can unlock or that is going to unlock certain things about your destiny. So I need you to pay attention. Hallelujah. He says, I am that I am. I have shaken myself. I have positioned myself. And I am ready to deliver. But watch what happened. The moment the process started, the enemy also raised opposition, raised rejections. But if you realize, the Lord made sure that everything that tried to oppose the deliverance of the Israelites, the Lord silenced it. He silenced their deity. That was a representative of a cobra. He caused his what? His authority to swallow them up. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? So anything that has lifted its health, like a cobra in your life, any element of Satan, any element of the devil, that will rise up to oppose what God is about to do in your life, the Lord God will swallow it. Hallelujah. 
the Lord God will swallow it. Hallelujah. Any principality in this vicinity, from your home, at your workplace, any agent of the enemy, any tricks that the enemy will put up, the Lord God will swallow it. Hallelujah. He swallowed it. And then he, he, he made their source of power become a non-entity. The river now. They, they think that the river has, has some power. They, they, of course, there is a spirit in the river. And they believe that that river was their source of life. But the Lord used his blood to sigh. He turned it into blood. He said, I am the source of life, not you. So he turned the whole river now to blood. Made it powerless. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to make every situation against you powerless. Because he is your source of life. Because he is your source of strength. Hallelujah. And he continued to fight for the people of Israel. He brought pestilence. He brought a, a lot of things. Balls, locusts against them. Yes, frogs against them. To show them that there is nothing they can do to stop him, God. And then the final blow. Say the final blow. Say the final blow. If it means God must dissolve certain things completely, take certain lives. I'm not talking about killing. <laughs> but there are some people, they have become agents of the devil himself. They have sworn by their lives that they will never, as long as they live, you will not have your freedom. They have become spiritual police. They police you spiritually. Whenever there is a breakthrough, they will go and whisper to the one giving the breakthrough to stop it. They are policing your progress. And if they don't stop, because God was giving them signs to show that he wants his people to go. They were still, Pharaoh and his people, they were still not listening. Pharaoh was not listening. Then God did the ultimate. Took the firstborn sons of Egypt. If it means God has to take certain people out, if it means God has to shift certain things to make sure that it silence the seal and bring you out, the Lord God will do it this year. Hallelujah. You are coming out. Say, I am coming out. Say, I am coming out. My God has spoken. My Lord has spoken. My King has spoken. He said this year 2024, I am that I am. I am showing forth. What is it has, that has become a problem in your life? What is it that has become an issue? This year, every time you are praying, remind God, say, God, you said that you are the I am that I am. That you said that your promises are yea and amen. You said that you will never forsake me or leave me. You said you have spoken and this year, not next year. Remind God. He said, God, you said this year, 2024. Because when God was delivering the people, it was within that time frame that he gave. Hallelujah. So he said, this year, not next year. I know you will show forth. Hallelujah. Say, my God will show forth. My God will show forth. Big time, big time on my behalf. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, this year 2024, there is going to be a spiritual exodus. Say spiritual exodus. That will manifest physically. There is going to be a spiritual exodus. It means some of us are in bondage. Some of us, the enemy has clamped our feet. Some of us, the enemy has covered us with shame. Some of us, the enemy has covered us in debt. Some of us, the enemies have covered us with confusion. But this year, the Lord says he will go behind the scene. He will defeat the enemy. Just as Christ, when he died on the cross, the Bible said he went to Hades, defeated the enemy and took the keys from him and resurrected and seated at the right hand of God. Hallelujah. The Lord says this year, he is going behind the scenes. He is visiting your ancestral home. Wherever they have written your name. Wherever they have connected your blood. He is visiting your ancestral home. 
to the very beginning of your ancestral home. He's disconnecting you from every curse. He's disconnecting you from anything that is speaking against you. Hallelujah. He will go to the depth of the earth. He will go to the spiritual source and begin to revoke. He will begin to, to disseminate everything that is written against you. Hallelujah. And as he, he was risen, the Lord says, this year you shall be risen. Is somebody hear him? I said, the Lord says, this year you shall be risen. This year you will be glorified with Christ. This year you are coming out victorious. Please, I don't want you this year to begin to look at your own plans. Like I said, the Lord knows where the hidden treasures are. He knows. So don't pay too much attention to the system of men and how you're going to break out. Don't pay too much attention to them. But rather, focus more on God. What are you saying? Where do you want me to go? How do you want me to do it? Because sometimes, even the systems of men that will be revealed to you, there is a particular way that it can be packaged and presented. There's a particular way that you can do it that can make it exceptional. Because, you know, people follow exceptional things. You know that. If it is common, everybody knows it. But if it's exceptional, people become, what, attracted to it. May God make you exceptional this year. May God make you attractive this year. Hallelujah. May whatever the Lord place in your hands bring you people that will bless you. Wherever you go to this year, may people look at you and want to just honor you and bless you. Hallelujah. This year is your year. Just as when the people are about to leave, the people of the, the Egyptians what gave them what? Gold. Clothes. Ornaments. Because you have been in captivity for too long, as you are coming out of captivity this year, may everything of blessing, of glory, of fame, of everything that is good, may it follow you out. <laughs> Say the years that was the locust and the canker worm ate. May everything they swallowed, may they vomit it back. I say anything the enemy stole from you. It took him 40 years to destroy everything that maybe was supposed to be yours. The Lord will make a show of him by giving you one year. You will recover everything. That is what is going to be the shocker. Because you've gone through a lot for 40 years, 30 years. Then just in a year, in a month, boom, the Lord bring a miraculous something your way. And then things begin to multiply. Things begin, and everybody is what? Surprised. That is what God will do with us this year. There will be an overflow in this church. There will be an overflow in your life. There will be an overflow in your life and in the life of your children. And let, let me say, I, one thing that I also liked about it is that when they were coming out with their blessings, Pharaoh wanted them to leave their children behind. You know that? He said, leave your children behind and you go. He said, no. Our children, our sheep, our goat, everything will follow. This year, every deliverance, your children are along. Hallelujah. I say every deliverance. You are not the only one that's going to be saved. You are not the only one that is going to come out of Egypt. You are not the only one. Your children are coming out. Say they are coming out. My children don't belong to Pharaoh. Are you hearing me? Your children don't belong to the system of the world. Can somebody say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I am coming out. And my children are coming out. I am coming out. And my family is coming out. In Jesus' name. You cannot come out and your children will be stuck. The system of the world will not take our children. Are you, are you hearing me? The system of the world will not steal our children. 
the voice of the enemy will not steal our children. If the Lord says we are coming out this year, 2024, our children are coming out with us in the name of Jesus. You cannot keep our children. Hallelujah. You cannot keep our children. The Bible says they came out with their children, with their flock, everything. And on top of that, they were cheated. So the Lord caused the Egyptians to give it back to them. The Lord will give us everything that the enemy has cheated out of us. He tricked us to lose certain blessings. He deceived us to lose certain blessings. He, he caused us to fall to lose certain blessings. By the grace and the message of God, we are going to get those blessings back in the name of Jesus. And we are coming out. Say, I am coming out. I am coming out of the shadow of darkness. I am coming out from bondage. I am coming out from, from uh, uh, delays. I am coming out from shame. I am coming out from slavery. In the name of Jesus, I am coming out. We are coming out. This year, 2024, we are coming out. And this is what the Lord says. He says, for my children to come out, they should believe what I'm telling them. You better believe. Not because Pastor Seva is saying it. This is not my word. Seriously, this is not my word. I know when God speaks. I know when I am preaching. My own preaching. Making my own declarations. But this word, he told me, he says, I am that I am. Tell my people who have been praying, who have been asking, who have been crying, who have been petitioning and sacrificing, that this year, I am that I am. And whenever he comes in that authority, you know that surely, your breakthrough is here. Your deliverance is here. So he said, believe and hold on to what I've told you. Pharaoh will resist you. The system, your bosses may even reject you. Maybe today or tomorrow you go to uh, uh, work and they will tell you they have fired you. But God says, hold on. I'm about to do something. Maybe by the time you step out, they will call you and tell you something that you least expected to hear. But God says, hold on. I am still going to do it. Hallelujah. The Lord wants to tell you that now that he has shown himself as I am that I am, know that the enemy will come. But he wants you to hold. Hold fast. Say, hold fast. Any disappointment that comes your way, hold fast. Anything anybody that does to you that is trying to tear you away, hold fast. He says, hold on. Believe. Obey and align. Obey and align. Hallelujah. Obey and align. Hallelujah. Obey and align. Hallelujah. Obey and align. The Lord is going to tell you to do certain things. He will tell you, get up at midnight and pray. He will tell you, go and bless this person. He will tell you, get up early. Go and witness to this person. I need somebody to witness to this person. I need somebody to come to the church to fix this. God is going to give us some instructions. I need you to let go this habit. I don't want you to touch this thing. I don't want to. God is going to give us certain instructions. God says obey. Because when the people of Israel, if they didn't obey, by putting the blood of the lamp on their doorposts, death would have swallowed them. And they wouldn't have had their deliverance. The Lord says, we should obey. Everything he's going to show us this year. Everything that he's going to tell us this year, we should obey. And we should align. When we obey and we align, we will see his hands manifested in our lives. Amen. Amen. And to conclude, he says, it is time. And nothing will stand in my way. 
no pharaoh, no authority, no anything spiritual, physical, giant system will stand in my way because I am yea and amen. Because I am ye and amen. Because I am ye and amen. People think that God is not creative, innovative. But children of God, if we open ourselves to God, God will give us ideas. He gives us what? Power to create what? Wealth. Power to create wealth so that you don't lack, so that when somebody is in need, you can help. You shouldn't be sick and you need to go to the hospital, but because of money, you can't go. There are things that God miraculously does by healing, there are things that He also wants you to go to the hospital to see a doctor because He made doctors, but because of money, because of money, you cannot do certain things. You are limited. Because of money, you have to work 20 hours. 12 hours. 60 hours. 80 hours. So that you can make ends meet. And you are so tired, you can't pray. You are so tired, you can't read your Bible. You are so tired. Remember, the Lord says he's delivering us so that we'll go and worship what? He is delivering us so that we will go and do what? To worship him. So may God bring us deliverance. May God bring us elevation. May God bring us increase. So that we don't have to go and work as slaves. So that we don't become slaves in America. Because the American system can enslave you. But we don't want to be slaves to American system anymore. So God is going to bring us out and give us ideas so that we'll have time to worship him. Hallelujah. And to fellow, can you be on your feet? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am that I am has spoken. I am that I am has spoken. I want you to begin to open your mouth. Begin to thank God for his word. Begin to thank him. The Lord, I thank you that I don't deserve it. But Father, your mercy has provoked your name to come to play in my life. I thank you that I am that I am. You, have, you are showing forth in my life today and this year. And I know that once you have shown forth that name, I am that I am. I know that my deliverance will be complete. Father, in the name of Jesus, begin to pray and say, God, I thank you. I thank you for this word. I thank you. There is no mountain too big. There is no mountain too tall. There is no circumstance that is so difficult that God will not solve. That God will not turn around. That God will not bring out. Begin to thank God for his word. Thank God. Thank God. He will do it. He will do it. Don't be left behind. Believe. Hold on to it and trust God for it in the name of Jesus. Thank God for this morning. Thank God for his word. I am that I am. I will be who I want to be. In your life, I am that I am. My promises are yea and amen. I am that I am is speaking. I am that I am has spoken. I am that I am has spoken. Everything that has fought you in the past, uh, they are going to be silent. Uh, everything that is standing against you, uh, they are going to be defeated. Uh, every roadblocks are going to be taken away. Uh, I am that I am. I will do it for you, uh, say the Lord. Thank God. Thank him for his word. 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 My word will not come back void. It shall accomplish everything it was sent out to do. 
The Lord's word this morning is to bring you out of Egypt. The Lord's word this morning is to bring you out of captivity. The Lord's word this morning is to bring you out of slavery. The Lord this morning is telling you, I am bringing you out from the hands of Pharaoh. Anything that is Pharaoh in your life, Pharaoh wants to keep you a slave. Pharaoh wants to keep you a slave. But this morning the Lord says, you are my child, I am bringing you out. You are my child, I am bringing you out. So that you will go and worship me. So that you will go and serve me. So that you will give me the best of your worship. Open your mouth and thank God. Open your mouth. Let your heart come out of all. It's not about what you can do. It's not about what you can do. It's about what God is doing. It's not about your plans. It is not about your ideas. It is not about your innovation. It's about what God is doing. And it's about what God is going to do. Open your mouth and thank Him. Rekato teyanda, reba bali ando lo bo sikita ya. Jesus, Jesus. Kande lo bo sikaya bo. Hallelujah. Now we are going to pray. Our next prayer topic, after thanking God, we are saying, God, help us, so that we will. Align and we we'll obey. In obedience lies our freedom. In your in, in obedience lies the manifestation of the promises of God. Hallelujah. When we obey, we will see the good of the land. Hallelujah. When we obey, we will eat the good of the land. Hallelujah. So you're asking God that God help me to obey. Help me in the name of Jesus to obey and to align. Help me that as you are ordering my steps, so oh God, I will allow myself to be ordered. Hallelujah. Can you begin to pray right now? Pray for the spirit and the grace for obedience. Pray for the spirit and the grace for obedience. Open your mouth and pray for the spirit and the grace for obedience. So that you will not miss your blessings. So that you will not miss your blessings. Open your mouth. The Lord will show you things. May you obey. The Lord will tell you things. May you align. The Lord will connect you to things. May you align. The Lord will tell you to leave certain things. There are certain people you must leave. Uh. There are certain things you must leave behind. Uh. The Lord will tell you not to look back. Uh. Don't look back. Uh. When he tells you to not to look back, don't look back. Uh. When he tells you to march forward, march forward. Uh. When he tells you not to touch, don't touch. Sikita yanda, riba baba la bo. Sikita, riba baba liyande, riya bo toto. Rika tanda la bo. Sikita, riba baba la bo. Sikata yanda. In Jesus' mighty name, Hallelujah. Our last prayer topic. We're going to thank God for the manifestation of our deliverance. We're going to thank God. That he has made you the head and not the tail. We're going to thank God that there's peace in your home. That your marriage is experiencing beauty and glory. That your finances is turning around from scarcity to overflow. That your name is being changed from shame to beauty and honor and blessing. Begin to thank God. The Lord is changing your name. The Lord is putting a crown on your head. The Lord is changing your clothes. The Lord is changing your story. The Lord is changing your history. Begin to thank God. If I were to be you, I will open up my mouth. It's not about how you feel. 
It's not about what you see. It's not about what you have heard. It's not about how you feel. It's about what God is saying. I am that I am is speaking. Who can stand against the Lord? Who can stand against the Lord? Who can stop him from what he wants to do? Who can stop him from what he wants to do? He can Has he not said it? And will he not do it? Open your mouth and declare. Declare over your life. Declare over your children. Declare over your marriage. Declare over your present. Declare over your future. Open your mouth and declare. You are free. You are blessed. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Under the boss satire. Say, in the name of Jesus, I am free. Say, in the name of Jesus, I am free. I said, it's not about what you feel. <laughs> the Lord God is not looking at what you feel to be who he wants to be in your life. So it's not about what you feel. It's not about what you are hearing, but it's about what he, God, wants to do. And he says, I am that I am. I'm at play. I am that I am. I'm a play. Let any name try to confront God because of you. And the Lord will silence that name. Hallelujah. Let any power try to circumvent what God wants to do in your life. And Jehovah God will silence that power right. in the name of Jesus. Let any ancestral power decide to come against you. And the Lord God will silence that ancestral power in the name of Jesus. Say, I don't belong to any satanic, any satanic. ancestral source. Say, I don't belong. To any demonic ancestral source, I am for Christ. I am a new creation. I belong to a godly family. In the name of Jesus, say, I break myself away. Clap your hands and say, I break myself away. Say, I break myself away from any ancestral lineage that does not glorify God. I break myself away from any ancestral curse that does not honor God. I break myself away in the name of Jesus. We are breaking ourselves. In the next three minutes, we are going to do certain things. And I want everybody to participate in this. In the next three minutes, whatever you have done in the past, that has opened the portal of destruction to come against you. Say the blood. Say the blood. Say the blood. I say whatever you've done in the past, Anything that is speaking against you, whether it is your mistake, the, the mistakes of your parents, the mistakes of, 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 of your children, the mistakes of your spouse, anything that is speaking against you, say the blood. The blood. Say the blood. the blood. Begin to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I silence every voice uh, by the blood of the Lamb uh, that is speaking against me, speaking against my destiny, speaking against my children. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray right now. He can't the the blood, the blood of God, the blood of Jesus. It is speaking, it is speaking, it is speaking, it is speaking. Open your mouth and pray. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. He can't the It is silencing every voice. It is silencing. He can't the Silence it by the blood. By the, blood, by the blood, by the blood, by the blood, in the name of Jesus, we are silencing every covenant, 
covenant, every satanic covenant, any satanic decrease, we are silencing in the name of Jesus. We are silencing every demonic covenant in the name of Jesus, in the atmosphere, in the waters, in the forest, in the air, in the system, at the altars, we are breaking in Jesus' name. Our next prayer topic, we are praying. Any initiations that had been made with your name, say we cancel. We cancel. Any initiations that were made in your dreams, say we nullify. We nullify. In the name of Jesus. Name Some of, of us have dreams and we are eating unnecessarily. Some of us have dreams and we are at the market. Some of us have dreams and we are naked. Some of us have dreams and we are sitting on the on the toilet seat. Some of us have dreams and, and dogs are chasing us, snakes are chasing us. Say in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. By the blood of the Lamb. The of say, the we Lamb. Nullify. We nullify. say we nullify. Say we nullify. It's implications, its implications against my life begin to pray. Yes, 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 Some people didn't understand. I want to repeat. I said there were some initiations that was made against your life. In your dreams. And those things are, they become a plague. So it happens spiritually, but physically, it's manifesting against you. Some of us, when we dream, we are eating. It may carry diseases, it may carry shame, it may even carry the possession of evil spirits. When you eat too much in dreams, when you are at the marketplace, eating at the marketplace, you have dreams and you are naked. You have dreams and you are barefooted. You have dreams and snakes and, and animals are chasing you. These are things that happen in the spiritual realm to either initiate or to initiate something against you, initiate you, whatever it is. Say in the name of Jesus, I nullify, I nullify any implications of such dreams against my life by the blood. I nullify. Can you open your mouth and begin to pray right now? Ra ba 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 le Hey ya 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 Hey ya 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 Hey ya 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 Hey ya 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 Hey ya 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 He can't get him up ba 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 Ra ba 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 He can't get him up ba la ba se te Ra ba 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 le Ra ba 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 le ba 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 ya He can't get him up ba la ba se te Ra ba 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 He can't get him up ba la ba se te Ra ba 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 He can't get him up ba la ba se te Ra ba 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 in Jesus name hallelujah our last prayer topic I want us to pray for marriages in the church the Bible says that when we are united we command the blessings of God so the enemy has risen against the church and has risen against the church through marriages also. Hallelujah. It's causing a lot of confusion between couples. Disagreements. We are praying in the name of Jesus. You know, we forget that when we do some of these things, they affect our children. We forget that when we are fighting and we are arguing and we, the enemy is knocking against us, we lose focus to pray for the gifts that God has given to us. That is one of the tricks of the enemy, to destroy not only our destinies, but the destinies of our children. Hallelujah. 
So we are lifting every marriage in the house, every marriage in the church into the hands of God. And we are saying, God, reign your presence, reign your victory, reign your peace in every marriage and in every home. So that our homes will be blessed and our children will be blessed in the name of Jesus. Can you begin to pray right now? Pray for every marriage in the church. Whatever the enemy is doing, whatever the enemy is doing to us, in the name of Jesus, may the blood speak for us. Monday the Bible, they come to church. We dress as couple, but there's so much tension in our hearts against each other. We come to church. We have names and titles, but there is so much confusion. Lord, have mercy. Monday the Bible, see Katari and Day. Rabba Baba the Bible, see Kata. Rabba Baba the Bible, Rabba Bo. Rabba Baba the Bible, see Kata. Rabba Baba the Bible, Rabbo. Rabbe, Rabbo, Rabba. Riendere. Rakita de la bo si kata re ba 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 li ande re bo to re katu kata li ande re amo di kata de la bo i kan de la bo si kata in Jesus mighty name. If you are here and you are a couple, just lift your hands to God. If you are a couple, just lift your hands. If if your 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 spouse is not here, lift your hands and then in your heart. You are doing it on behalf of your spouse. We are saying together in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we come before you, Father, come before you as, couples. as couples. Father, you said what you have joined together, let no man put asunder. And you said in our unity, there is blessing. Father, we bring our marriages to you. Our marriages that are connected to our children and their destinies. Father, please breathe over our marriages. Breathe over our hearts. Breathe over our character. Breathe over our thoughts. Breathe over our desires. Help us, O oh God Almighty, that we will have fruitful marriages. We come against the spirit of idolatry. That we will not, O oh God Almighty, uh, sin against you as couples. We come against the spirit of adultery also. That we will not deceit, de deceive our spouses. In the name of Jesus, we come against every sexual sin. We come against the sin of greed. We come against the spirit, the sins of pride. We come against the spirit of anger. We come against the spirit of chaos in our marriages in the name of Jesus. And Father, even as you breathe upon our marriages, may we bear the fruit of your glory. May we bear the fruit of your testimony. May we bear the fruit of your righteousness. May people look at our marriages and say, indeed, Christ is in this marriage. Indeed, glory is in this marriage. And may our children, because of our marriages, may they be blessed. And may they also have fruitful marriages. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Are you ready to give your offering this morning unto God? Your offering of thanksgiving. You have your offerings ready? No. You have your offerings ready. You can cash up the dollar R C I G S O. You can sell to Royal House Shop Greensboro Mission. You can write a check. Hallelujah. You can also text to give. Or you can go to the back to swipe the offering. Offering is your sign of worship. It's your sign of sacrifice. You are coming before the altar of grace. How do you reverence God? How do you value God? 
If I don't regard you, I will give you five dollars. That is if I have hundred dollars. Some people don't have. Like God said, the woman didn't have much. But even the coins that she had, she gave the best to God. And God appreciated it. Some of you have more than enough. You have more than enough to do big things for yourselves. But when it comes to God, because you don't honor God and regard God, you come and give God chicken change. Something that even if I give it to you, you will not appreciate. That is all you give to God. We have to all repent. The other day, my daughter was telling me something, how the Lord rebuked her in a way. She said, how can I continue to give God a lot of money as offering? How? After all that God has done for me, he's still doing for me. How can I come to God's house and give God this amount? It was the Holy Ghost that convicted her. And the Lord had done the same to me. I used to give some offering. And then one day the Lord said, Sarah, you got to do something about this. It is, this should not be your sign of worship. How do you see me? Hallelujah. Do you have your offering? It's not about money. I, we are not here to, you know, twist you to give money. We are showing you the principles of fellowship. It's not about money. It's not about money. It's not about money. Are you ready with your offering and sacrifices? Can you lift it? Heavenly Father, we thank you for life. We thank you for our children. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your faithfulness. We come to you with this sacrifice of praise. Sacrifice of thanksgiving. You are Yahweh. Your name deserves bigger things and greater things because we know you do bigger things in us and for us. We thank you and we bless you. Bless the work of our hands. Open greater doors unto us as we reverence you and as we honor you. May you remember to open the windows of heaven and pour us a blessing. May we never lack. May all our debts this year be paid off completely. May all our debts be paid off completely. Whether it is house, mortgage, whatever. May we in America own homes that are fully paid for. May we not fall into the system of 30 years mortgage. Give us wisdom to be debt free. And help us to become an overflow. Even as we honor you and we fear you. And we obey you. Help us to do more in obedience. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. So if you have your offering, can you just bring it to the altar, those who have the, or you have the, the bag to collect it for them? Okay. Johanna, can you give us a song? We bring sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. Are we Sacrifice of praise oh, into the house of the oh, and we are for all to a sacrifice, a sacrifice I is of a thousand. Oh, 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 oh,
Thank you, Jesus, for the privilege to give. Anybody that this year will be touched by God to give some kind of outrageous sacrifices, I am challenging you to do it. The Lord will speak for you in that. I am a living testimony of that. Outrageous. And the Lord spoke for me. One of these days, when we had the opportunity, I will share my testimony. You have not seen. When the Bible says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, what the Lord has in store for you, I am telling you, I am a living testimony of that. You have not seen, you have not heard. When it comes out, you know the faithfulness of God. Hallelujah. Can you be on your feet as we share the grace? And we offer on to you the sacrifices of heaven. And we offer on to you oh. The sacrifice of Can we share the grace? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the sweet love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And we place our right hand over our head and we say, Surely, goodness and mercy are following us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of God forever and evermore. Amen. I shall not die, but I will live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. Amen, amen. God bless you. Have a fruitful week, and may God order your steps. Remember, I am that I am is working on your case. Amen.